doing a paranormal investigation at the most haunted hotel in all of America. Is it okay that we're in here? No, darling. Oh. Ow! I'm not afraid of you. Please! We're not afraid of you. People who have looked into the mirror have oftentimes gotten very sick. When we were facing the mirror? No. I don't even want to like say it. <laughs> Let's go! Did you guys hear that? It sounded like a door closed. <gasps> Discovery of four skeletons this week. Are they trying to trap us in here? There is a chance, yes. <gasps> oh, oh my god, the door just shut. I thought I was gonna have to take him to the hospital. I was so close to going to the ER because I was like, this isn't normal. The Stanley Hotel is known to be America's most haunted hotel. In 1903, Freeland Stanley was stricken with tuberculosis, so him and his wife moved to Denver, Colorado, where there was clean air so he could have a better chance of surviving. Stanley's health improved drastically after moving to Estes Park. He loved it there so much he decided to build the Stanley Hotel. The hotel was completed in 1909, along with the concert hall that was a gift to his wife, Flora. The hotel was the first property in the world to have electricity at the time. After a lack of power from the installation of the auxiliary gas lighting system, there was a gas explosion just one day after it being installed. It severely damaged the structure of the hotel and also injured one of the maids. Her name was Elizabeth Wilson, and it's said that she still haunts the hotel. One of Stanley's most popular stories is about a girl named Lucy. Many years ago, Lucy was a runaway. The temperatures in Estes Park were drastically low, so she found refuge in the basement of the concert hall. The staff found her sleeping in there one night and kicked her out into the snow. That night, she froze to death. Along with Lucy, there's also a man named Paul who used to work at the Stanley Hotel. Paul used to enforce the curfew of the hotel, but passed away due to a heart attack right outside the concert hall steps. People say you can hear him telling you to get out, while others say he tries to push them out the door into the hall. Flora Stanley, the wife of O.F. Stanley, was known for her piano skills and often showed off the concert hall. Guests claim to hear music in there even when no one is around, and sometimes even the piano plays by itself. The concert hall is the most haunted part of the Stanley property. There's known to be a ghost that gets a little bit handsy. Some guests have claimed that they feel a stroking in their hair or a kiss on their cheek or hands running along their body. People have reported seeing and hearing children run around the hotel and then vanish at the end of the halls. Elevators open on random floors with no one being there. Doors open and slam by themselves. Glasses have gone flying across the room and shatter on the floor. And one of the strangest things of all is people have reported seeing a man stand at the edge of their bed while they're sleeping. And once they're fully awake, he's gone. There has been lots of deaths at the Stanley Hotel. Even recently, the amount of paranormal activity inspired The Shining after Stephen King woke up from a nightmare that he had while staying at the Stanley Hotel. The hotel was built on top of quartz crystal and granite, which is believed to be a battery for the paranormal. And at the main stairs in the hotel, there's two mirrors facing each other. Spirits are drawn to this place heavily, and that's why I believe that this place is a portal for the paranormal, for spirits to come and go as they please. Tonight, we're gonna find out if that's true. Welcome to the Stanley Hotel. Hit the thumbs up button. And it helps me out a lot. We are inside the original elevator to the Stanley Hotel. Look at how crazy vintage this is. Fourth floor. The most haunted floor. I would say this is the creepiest part of the hotel just because like the pictures and the portal idea and there was actually a picture of a little girl snapped on camera right here. It was during a tour group and nobody knew who that little girl was and she was never there. It's a spirit of a child. You saw the apparition of her in that picture. The concert hall is said to be the most active spot in all of the Stanley campus, so I knew that that's where we needed to start our paranormal investigation. It's so creepy up here. 
I started here in October of 2020, and then this picture was taken in November of 2020. And at the time, the mirror was actually just right down there. A friend took this photo, and if you look, you can see like lips, a nose, an eye. Oh my god. You can see an entire really face do. on my shoulder. While we were like talking about it on FaceTime, immediately my screen was fine, like my camera, but then I looked back over at hers and just green and purple lines all across the screen. And as she like started glitching, it sounded like growling was coming through the phone. And then I had to hang up. What the heck? Yeah. I would also like to mention people who have looked in the mirror have oftentimes gotten very sick. I don't feel like I'm looking that back at myself. It's weird because many tours that I've had, people look into it and they say they're like disassociated. I see like a clone or a cartoon of themselves. Today we're going to be using the REM pod. This is motion activated and it has heat temperature spikes. So it's going to be like this. Get close to it. Oh, is if you touch it. Go cuckoo. This is a regular flashlight. There's nothing special about this whatsoever. This is one of those police grade flashlights. No trigger, there's no remote. So we're gonna try to use this tonight. Right now we're gonna be using the spirit box. Do you wanna specifically talk to someone that we know is here? Like, do you oh, wanna that talk man. to him? I wanna talk to him. Which one? I don't know who it was, but his face. I just saw white face. Okay. Like a second ago, I was getting something out of my backpack. Kelsey said she saw some white face behind me. Oh, I just saw me. something right above Mackenzie. Like, right above like he was like crouched oh, down just right here. I just saw his face. That scared me. I thought Cameron was behind you. I thought it was Cameron. It was this white face just staring at me behind the Kenzie's. I'm a psychic medium and I've had gifts since I was young. I've been able to connect with spirits. I get visions of things a lot and that's a way I also communicate with spirits is through visions and uh, connecting with their energy. Can you please tell me whose face I saw? Who was that? Him. Him. It said it twice. Your camera keeps detecting a face in the mirror. No. I swear to God. This is what it looked like whenever I was looking at the mirror. The box was showing up where the mirror was. It was detecting a face or something there. Right, is anyone the in the mirror? mirror? Leave. Victim. Victim. It said leave victim. How many spirits are here with us? I'm starting to get so nauseous. Who's making me nauseous? People who have looked into the mirror have oftentimes gotten very sick. Warning. Is there something attached to the mirror behind us? What is up with this mirror behind us? I just heard something move. Like that, what was you just that? heard something move up there? No, yeah. it was back there. That's that's our old bar that we used to use for events. You know what's in there? No, I don't. I can see if it's unlocked, but something totally just moved yeah, over there. Yeah, we all heard it. There's a little lock on it. There's never anyone in there anymore. Is there someone back in the bar over there? Is there someone back there in the bar behind us? Yeah. It was me. The person who made that move, was that the person that Kelsey saw behind me? Evil. Can you tell me what you're doing down here? You're playing. Dennis has been known to be probably the most aggressive spirit here, which might be why you're feeling like kind of like sick. Yeah. He's been known to make people feel just immediately sick. I've had people straight up just like pass out yeah. with no explanation. Also, people have left the concert hall with scratches and bruises all over their body. Do you think Dennis is demonic or something? Absolutely. Absolutely. Half of Stanley campus is on ancient Indian burial ground. I just, I just heard stomping. Yeah, I yeah. did too. It's so dark, like I almost puked. So we just hear this stomping. It was so loud that we, th I thought it was like a person at first. I thought someone was stomping their feet or stomping, like hitting something. It was just something really loud that everyone heard. I just felt like so much darkness down there, so much dark energy. And that energy just hit me with so much nausea. It sounded like it was coming It sounded like that room. 
No, so that's the bathrooms. The women's right there is definitely the most active. That, it sounded like footsteps in the bathroom though, yeah? yeah like yeah, stomping. Like, I've worked here a year and a half. I've never heard anything like that before. Laura, Lucy, we're coming on in. Typically we just like to knock on the bathroom doors even if there is a spirit in here. Stomping would be like... Yeah. I swear that had to have been in here. It might have been. I don't know why being in this bathroom makes me feel sick. We're going to be doing the Estes method right now. The Estes method was actually created in this hotel in Estes Park. The Estes method is when one person is the receiver and the other person is the questioner. The receiver uses a spirit box and listens to it with noise canceling headphones. The questionnaire will ask the receiver questions through what the receiver hears on the spirit box will be the answers for the questioner. If you would like to come through and say some words to us or you can make that device go off on the chair. You're more than welcome to. <clears throat> Who's here with us? Towards the front. I just saw Did you see something too? I heard something. I saw someone right here and it said towards the front. I heard like a rustling. Imagine like a shadow person is what I saw. And Alex heard something at the same exact time that I saw it. We both look in the same direction. Is it okay that we're in here? No, darling. Why, why can't we be in here? Us. Can we stay in here where we're respectful to you? Step forward. Would you like us to step forward or someone else to step forward? You. Do you want me to tap in? Is that what you mean? In one way. So when I tap in, I really focus on everything I'm feeling around me, anything that comes to me, any visions that come to me, I really just, I just call it tapping in because that's the best way I'm able to describe how I go into the zone of communicating with spirits. Would you like to come to me directly? He who not tell. Who? Who are you talking about? Would you like to step forward to me? No, two names. Was someone hurt badly? You can tell us. Go away. You don't want to talk to us anymore? Ow! I just heard something like in the stall. There's someone like circling Mackenzie. I just keep seeing them over and over, like they're circling her. At the moment, why are you walking around Mackenzie? Do you like Mackenzie? That's enough. Are you talking to me or someone else? Nothing ends. We know that. Is that what you want to show everyone, that nothing ends? Oh, I'm starting to get sick again. <clears throat> Who's in here? Get out. Are you saying that to whoever is making me sick? <clears throat> Run. I'm not afraid of you. Leave. We're not afraid of you. Step away. I just kept getting these visions of this dark shadow trying to move forward towards us. Step away. So I kept asking it to step back, step away, because every time it would step forward, I would just get this feeling of nausea and just pressure in my chest. When I had the headphones on, I couldn't hear a single thing that was happening around me. I felt in my gut that something was just wrong. And that's why I took the headphones off. But he's standing over here, and yeah. at the same time, it sounded like someone was right outside the door, like... Yeah, we both looked at the same time, so I saw someone and he heard someone. It sounded like somebody was like, shut And then you said, in, near the front. 
at the same yeah. time. But the only know. thing I felt was that thing, whatever that shadow was. It just made me so uncomfortable. You're still rolling, right? You got that? I did not. I didn't get it. So, okay, wait. We just Thumb? heard a Whoa. crash. Like you just heard something crashed. like fall onto the ground. No, I that might have been the chairs upstairs. Moving? Maybe. That's why I'm like, what the I'm fuck? Like, I'm There's like, something over there moving. Because that's when stuff happens. I keep hearing loud. actual things moving. Yeah. That was like a crash. Yeah. We all jumped. It sounded like something was like pushed onto the floor. Or that, like it could have been a, like a yeah. chair moving across yeah, the floor. That's what, that's what I thought. The sound was so loud. I was convinced that something was drug across the floor. I've never done a paranormal investigation where something actually moves, like something that's not one of our devices. I knew that we had to go and find out what that was immediately. That kind of sounded That could have been it, because we said it sounded like chairs. Yeah. That's weird. That Something definitely moved up here. It's so weird. It's like they want us to just follow them and then they go to another room. Yeah. yeah. If there's anyone here, I feel like you're leading us on a goose chase. Is there somewhere you'd like us to go? We kept hearing things like in different directions in that entire building and every time we would go to that thing and try to, you know, communicate with whatever it is, we would hear something elsewhere. And I felt like it was like they were leading us on some sort of goose chase. I heard sometimes this piano plays right so. I was going to say more activity is more Getting new activity is more odd than getting some activity yeah. on the on the root pod cuz it normally <coughs> Dust does not just move like this. This was most definitely an orb. I did not know that we caught this on camera until after I got back home and I was editing the footage. The flashlight just went off. <gasps> the rim pod just went off? No, the flashlight. Uh -oh. It did? It just turned off. By itself? Yeah. It was just on. Oh shit. Oh my god. The flashlight just turned off by itself? <laughs> When the flashlight turned off, I was looking at it when it happened. Nobody else had saw it. Can you turn the flashlight back on for us? We're doing this to see if you can let us know that you're still here. I got the chills. Oh, whoa. Damn. Yeah. Dang, look at Kelsey. She's got crazy goosebumps right now. Can you turn the flashlight back on? Or was that like, I'm gonna turn the flashlight back on so you don't play with the piano? Maybe. Hey, Flora. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, it went off. It went off. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, Flora. Thank you. Thank you. Something made an echo in that room that was not one of us. It sounds like an O oh or a no. I believe that it was Flora saying no. And I believe that she turned the flashlight on because she did not want us touching the piano. If you look at the top left corner of the footage, you can see that it gets pixelated only in the moments where you hear the O oh or the no. Thank you. If you want him to stop playing the piano, can you make the, the red Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! In the moment where the flashlight turned on and then back off again, we were properly talking to somebody. It's like, okay, it's not just a fluke. We're definitely talking to someone here. That was great. That was awesome. Oh. I'm sure you guys know what a yeah. trigger object is. So we'll usually turn all the lights off in here and we'll hold these upside down in our hands. And usually you can see like if you test it, it's moving around. So I tell people like push the wrapper down just so that way if they try it, nothing's gonna happen. But we usually just sit here in the dark and I tell people to hold their hands to keep it steady. And I'm not kidding you. I've felt the dum-dum twisting in the wrapper. Um, I felt it go back and forth. I've had it literally fall in between my fingers and out of my hand. And actually my cousin, when she came on the tour, um, 
She was actually standing right over there by that corner chair over there. I was standing over here controlling the lights. The minute I turned off the lights, she said it felt like someone just went like this. And I turned the lights on. We literally searched this entire room and the dum-dum was gone. Do you know what flavor it was? I think it was cherry. Let's do cherry. it. Cherry. Maybe I'm she likes cherry. I think it's cherry butterscotch. We are putting the REM pod inside of there. Oh, that is so creepy down there. Okay, we got the REM pod. Hopefully it goes off. We're gonna try to see if these things like move. We're calling out to Lucy if you want to come through, if you want to come talk to us, you're more than welcome to. We would love to talk with you. My name's Kelsey. We have Mackenzie. We have Cameron and Alex. I keep getting this pain just like in my whole back. That's weird. I'm literally just getting a sharp pain like right here. Really? It's like painful mm -hmm. and it hurts. It's like aching. Lucy, are you doing that? A lot of the common ways that spirits like to show me things is with physical feelings and this happens with a lot of mediums. It can be really overwhelming. So I kept getting this sharp pain like in my back. I'm thinking maybe someone was trying to either you know, make us leave or they were trying to show us what happened. I know that someone was stabbed there, so maybe that was one area that they were stabbed in or the fatal wound that ended, you know, their life. Lucy, if you're here with us right now, you can use the spirit box to talk to us. We have a box in the closet over here. You can touch that. It will let us know that you're here. Or we have a flashlight that you can turn on and off. We can use this as like a yes and a no communication. We just want to know more about your story. We want to know how you got here. Where do you miss me or something? We did come back down here because we wanted to talk to you some more. I heard a thud up there. Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah. Who was that? Who thudded upstairs? I just heard a growl. I just heard a growl. A growl? Did you hear that? Dude. Oh my God, something just touched my finger. Ooh. No, I heard a growl, 1,000%. Oh. I've never like that heard That sounded a... like outside. It sounded like it was right over here. Over here. The moment that Alex says over here, in that same second, the spirit box says over here as well. Whoever we were communicating with on the spirit box was thinking the exact same thing as Alex. It sounded like it was right over here. Something just touched my finger too. At the same, like at the same time. That was weird. It was like a cold little like, like that yeah. on my pinky. Lucy, are you trying to play with us right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just heard she's gone. Did you? Yeah. I heard like a she's gone. Oh my god, my light just turned oh. off. Oh, that was your light. Yeah, my light, light just turned, turned off. off. Which I can see if there's still battery in it. So we're okay. Spirits need energy, they are energy. And if they don't have it, they're not able to communicate. They take energy from our lights, from our cameras, from our phones. They will take energy from whatever they can. And they definitely chose to take the energy from my light and drain the battery. Did someone drain my light battery? Did that just say Flora? Flora? It said Flora. F.O.'s wife. Yeah. The one who doesn't like us playing the piano. Oh my god. Did Flora drain the battery? Oh, she's ridiculous. Are you mad at us because we played the piano? That's a scream. Did you hear a scream? That was like a little girl. Who was that? No, there's something back there. Really? I can like you? feel it. I can literally feel Ew, it. Wait, did the flashlight, did you put it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, is it off? It's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's off. It's facing us. If you're in the bathroom, can you turn the flashlight on? Lucy, if you're still with us, can you please turn the flashlight on? <gasps> oh my god. Thank you, Lucy, thank you. Good job. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy, was that you? It was. 
Lucy, do you not like to be in the dark? Is that why you want to keep the flashlight on? Yeah. 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 Did I just hear ow? I heard ow. Yeah. That's what Didn't I heard. we hear that yeah. before? We heard I don't ow. think so. No, the weirdest thing. My, What's that? One of my closest friends only, my closest friend, calls me ow. Oh. And she's the one who had her dum dum just taken away from her. Oh, really yeah. interesting. They need help. I heard need help. Oh my god, I just got chills. Is there what anything do you need we help can... with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need help with? Dum 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 dum. No, it's the dum dum. dum. I did say dum. Wait, where's the dum dum? What's your favorite type of dum dum? Can you tell us? What your favorite type of dum dum is? The lollipop? It's not like the ocean or something. Did you guys hear that? What? It sounded like a door closed. <gasps> oh my god, that was loud. What the heck? The door closed. <gasps> oh my god, that was loud. What the heck? None of us were expecting to hear a door slam like that. It was very loud, it was very aggressive, and it was very scary. That was loud No, that's not like this room, this is the maintenance room. I keep hearing the door just the door. Oh, oh my god, Holy the door shit. just shut again. Holy shit. Is there someone down here with us? Holy shit. It was aggressive. Wow. It was a slam. Yeah, something slammed. It slammed it. Shut. It's the one right up the stairs over here. Are they trying to, like, trap us in here? There is a chance, yes. As much as I wanted to stay inside the room and not go find out what it was, I knew that that is why we were there. The whole reason that we came to the Stanley Hotel was to show that there's more to life than what meets the eye. So we had to go investigate further and find out what that was. Um. The men's is light is switch? off now. It was literally on when we first came in here. Yeah. I don't know. The switch is like down. The switch is it's down. down. I'm feeling like cold. huge gusts of cold. Cold? Yeah. Right? You feel like it might have been this door that was like opened because it sounded like that and then it sounded like this. Just like that. Um, this is haunted. haunted. This is haunted. Yeah. Yeah. It's haunted. It's haunted. Yeah, so it wasn't that door. I could have sworn it sounded like that door over there. This picture someone took, they were literally like standing right where we are. So you see there's literally nothing there, right? Yeah. So, so that's no someone's there. flash. That's somebody else's flash. Yeah. They were taking the picture and then they took another one right as the flash turned off. And just immediately. It's like peeking. That's so peeking. weird. And that's, so Cameron kept saying that he was feeling something peeking from that door. And that's like exactly where that was. So that door that walked down the stairs into the basement, I did not dig that. Every time I turned around, I always felt the need to like turn back and look behind me because I felt like someone was at the top of the stairs. When we were facing the mirror, I swear I like looked to the left with the two like doll cutouts. Yeah. I don't even want to like say it. I saw their faces like in the cutout. Oh, I thought I saw that too. When the door slammed shut, it's like someone was right outside of our door. Too yeah. real for you. Yeah. A little too real. <laughs> You're actually crying right now? Yeah. <laughs> the impact of the door closing oh yeah. was enough to scare all of us. I've never yeah, jumped I like that. I was shaking. I was Like the flashlight shaking. goes on and off. We have door signs. Rempod, and then there's growling. Nothing. We're hearing walking I've upstairs. Heard, I've had doors slam in front of me and I don't know why, but I was like terrified there. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. It was a weird energy that I did not like. The whole time filming, Kelsey was extremely sick. So when we were leaving the concert hall, we got back to the lobby and she was like, I need to take like five, 10 minutes and rest and lay down. And I was like, absolutely, like do what you need to do to get better. I feel so drained. I just feel like my whole body is in pain. I just feel like, I don't know if it was just the energy here, but every time, last time I came here, I got so, I was so sick. And after all the spirit communication, I needed a break and I needed to lay down because I felt so drained. My entire body just felt weak. 
done. I know. I was like, guys, I need to lay down for like a tiny bit. <laughs> like, <laughs> go without me. I'll meet you. <laughs> when she got in the room, I think it was like way too much for her. She like passed out. And we decided that at 3 a.m. we would try again to go back at it. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We are going to try to communicate with some spirits at the portal vortex. We have both the REM pods out right now. I just saw someone. You just saw someone? It's like a woman. Can you please make that device beep? You oh, can look. do it. Look. Can you do it for us, please? You can do it. Touch it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I feel like she's here still right now. She's here still. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Ooh, it seems like she's kind of just seeing what we're doing. She's kind of just like yeah. vibing. <laughs> Kelsey's gonna do the spirit box. I'm gonna try to communicate with the woman that just touched the REM pod. Oh, she's just made it go off again. Can you use the spirit? No one knows that. No one knows that? Can you use the spear box to talk to us? Thank you for pressing that. Thank you. They knew my diagnosis. What were you diagnosed? I think she has some sort of stomach. Um, she's holding her stomach. I think she had some sort of stomach, maybe cancer. Did you have stomach cancer? Was there something wrong? I'm in the moment. Can you tell us what happened to you? Died with my family. Did it have to do with the diagnosis? No. No. Why are you at this hotel? My portal, the right. You're done. Listen. So I kept seeing this woman on the top of the stairs and she had come down when we started our session. I was receiving visions from her of her holding her stomach. So she was showing me visions of her husband being sick and her taking care of him and her being a very uh, caring person throughout her life. You want us to go up the stairs? Floor, a floor. Is there something on the floor that's above us? Yes. Stayed there before? Is that why you came back here? There's someone like brushing my back, like like running their fingers up and down my back. Don't touch her. I think she was a nurse. It just literally went off when I said don't. Like touch I think her. she took care of people. To the right of you. To the right. Over here. Come here. Is there someone over there? If they one on the right. She was very, very kind and she was just wanting to talk to someone. She just seemed a little bit lonely. That's so interesting. She was kind of like rubbing my back, like comforting. Oh, I just heard like rub your back or something. She was like rubbing my back and like she kept showing me her like taking care of people, like people like her. Uh, maybe her husband, she said something about her husband. Yeah. Like she took care of people, like maybe a nurse or something like that. Yeah. But then I think she got sick too. Leaving the Stanley Hotel, I don't think any of us were expecting what was about to happen. How are you feeling? Better. I got sick, Kelsey got sick, and the way that Cameron got sick was like anything I had ever seen before. He had puked so many times, he was pale white. We're literally heading down the mountain, and Kinsey and Kelsey were talking about how they like puked that morning, and, and they just weren't feeling good. And so we get down the mountain, and I'm just like, oh god. I start feeling like cold sweats, and it's just like, I start to feel it coming. And I had to pull over, because I threw up, and over across the... You know, the rest of the night I threw up like eight or nine times. I was so close to going to the ER because I was like, this isn't normal. The Stanley Hotel is like 7,000 something above 
sea level. We thought it was altitude sickness. Day went on, Cameron kept getting sicker and sicker. Thought I was gonna have to take him to the hospital. It was so bad. So we ended up checking into some hotel. We missed our flight. Rather than taking a flight back home, I decided that I was going to find any hotel that was gonna have an open room so we could stay there the night until he had gotten better. And there was a moment where I'm trying to find a hotel and Cameron has to like run outside, puke, and I found him laying on the grass, like puke all over his face, like he couldn't move, he was crying, it was terrifying. I was convinced that whatever had happened at the Stanley Hotel had followed us and was absolutely pissed that we went there. The moment that we dropped altitude, we should have been feeling better, but that like was not the case at all. It, if anything, it got worse. I don't wanna say it's because we went to the Stanley. All I know is that none of us were well after that. And that is kind of terrifying to think about. Regardless of how respectful we were, whatever is at the Stanley Hotel is not something to be messed with. And it is not something that is nice. If you saw something that I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we will go back to the Stanley Hotel. We didn't go into any of the haunted rooms and I feel like there's so many questions that we need to get answered. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell button, turn on the post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me on any of my social medias at Mackenzie Marie, because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there, and you should be too. I love you so freaking much, and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!